Hello, <clears throat> this is uh, White Wolf here at Elman Mountain in Vermont. And I'm on the uh, lake today up here in northern Vermont. And my uh, goal is a very elusive plant for uh, this part of the country. Uh, now even though this plant does grow from um, Quebec, uh, Newfoundland, um, New Brunswick, all the way down to Florida, uh, it is rather rare to, uh, to find, especially here in uh, this area of Vermont. And so uh, I've been combing the lakes up here in the, uh, the bog sections trying to uh, locate it. And today I think I finally have found a bog where I'll be able to, uh, to get some footage of this, uh, this beautiful little plant. So uh, why don't we uh, paddle on over here in the, the kayak and see what we can find. Now, right over here, there's a little opening off the lake back into a bog. So let's see what we find back here. This looks like a perfect spot to find it. Because this little plant primarily grows in bogs and also likes it very protected. Even though it's quite hardy, being able to survive from Canada clear on down into uh, Florida. It does need more of an isolated area to grow. Let's go back this little channel here and see what we find. Now, if I were in southern waters, I'd definitely have to look out for, uh, for snakes. Wouldn't really care about the non-venomous variety, of course, but venomous variety also enjoys the water areas. But up here in Vermont, I don't have to uh, be concerned about poisonous snakes because we really don't have any. So that beautiful Beautiful uh, northern water snake earlier. Maybe a garter snake here and there, but that's about it. I think I see what I'm looking for. A little clump 
what you see right in front of us. I think I see exactly what plant I've been looking for for weeks. Right there. Right here in this little grass clump, in this bog, is exactly what I've been looking for. It's the round-leafed sundew. And if we, boy the sun's really bright, it's hard to see in the camera here. Let's see if we can get a close-up. A little green plant that you see there with the little glistening beads on it. That's what I've been looking for. And that is round leaf sundew. That's a little coniferous plant, actually, like uh, Venus flytrap. And like I said in the beginning, this plant does grow from uh, southern Canada on the eastern side all the way down to Florida. It is a bit more rare up north here, though, like I was also saying. Now, you'll notice that uh, these are really small right, compared to the, the grass and the size of the uh, root that you see here. Now, the size of these can actually be up to like 8 inches, which is quite large. But up here in uh, Vermont, they don't grow that large. This is about as big as, uh, about as, big as you find them. It's a hard climate, and they have a short growing season. But the leaves, as you can see, I'm going to see if I can get a little closer so I can get my uh, finger in there to point them out. But the leaves, uh, they're always very small, no matter how tall they are. Right, you're looking at these leaves and they're, oh, an inch to uh, half an inch across, and that's about it. All right. A little better position here. I'm trying to film this in the kayak without floating away. It's not easy. <laughs> a little breezy. So as we can see right here, this is uh, this is your sundew. And floating away again. You'll notice that uh, the each leaf, all right, is about a half an inch across here. I hear it. There's a biplane going overhead, towing a uh, glider. We're uh, actually near uh, near Waitsfield, Vermont, right now. And you'll notice that they're covered with these little red hairs. And each red hair is tipped with uh, a little um, a little ball, and from the ball excretes a kind of a dew, all right? See the little uh, golden drops glistening in the uh, sunlight? Right, which is why it's called sundew. Right in here, see the little tips emit that uh, sticky dew-like substance. And that dew actually captures small insects. Right, it glistens, looks like liquid, so the insects fly in and looking for moisture and they land on that and they get stuck. And that dew actually dissolves the insects and then the plant eats it. Just like the Venus flytrap, except these little guys, they stick the insects on the ends of these red hairs and not inside of a pocket. And you can see it grows all up through here in the grasses, along the edges. Another nice thing about uh, this time of year for filming is it's in bloom. So as if the plant were not showy enough. 
we also have a single stalk that comes up out of the plant and gets a cluster of green buds that hang off that you see right there in the middle of the screen and each cluster opens up into a single white flower a little damselfly flying in there To see right here in the front of your screen, there's one that has uh, a shoot that comes up straight from the plant and is covered in little green buds, but they haven't opened yet, but the ones behind them. You can see each one side by side there has a single flower each. Now if you look back in the grass there, you'll see another one right there center screen. You follow that stalk down. You'll see the little sundew pads down below. Now you notice that each one of these only has a single white flower open. And that's the way the sundew works. They do not open multiple flowers at the same time. They only open one flower at a time. Once that flower is spent, then another bud opens. So you can find these flowering usually between June all the way through, uh, through the end of August. The trick is being able to locate the sundew itself, which I have found myself to be a tricky task. So not only do we have this gorgeous flower, but it's also medicinal. and the enzymes that it actually emits from the leaves. Like I said, they, uh, they digest the proteins of the insects, which also makes it very effective for placing on and getting rid of warts, which has been done for a very long time. Personally, I've never used it for that, so I do not know how effective it is, but that's one of the claims, medicinally speaking, of the uh, round-leaved sundew. Now, traditionally speaking, the sundew has been uh, used in tea form, but it also has been used as a tincture. And it has been highly acclaimed for treating coughs, bronchitis, asthma, things of that nature affecting the bronchial tubes and lungs. Now the uh, proteolytic enzymes that it emits has also been said to uh, be an effective treatment for uh, many different kinds of bacteria in tea fashion. Now not only do you see it growing here in the, uh, the grasses on this old stump, but if we look over here on this old tree that's logged down, You'll see it's also growing there. And I'm floating away again. Here's another clump growing on this tree. The reason it likes these bogs so much is because it loves acid, kind of like blueberries. The higher the acid content, the happier these guys are. So 
So if you're looking for these, look for bog locations and also look for bogs that have a lot of tannins in the area. Now you can see here, this bog is surrounded by the evergreens. The evergreens supply the tannic acid which leaches into the soil through their decaying needles and the uh, living root systems. And over time in the stagnant water that acid builds up and it feeds these acid loving plants. It gives them a perfect home. Boy that biplane's loud. Well, we got a turtle over here coming out to see us. And back there, see his head. That's a painted turtle. His head is dead center screen. Oh, he just blinked. Alright, well I'm going to wrap this up here. It's a bit hot and buggy. And I'm floating around here without a tripod, so it's been a bit bumpy. Sorry about that. Hopefully you got some good views of uh, round-leafed uh, sundew. And learned a little bit of something. Saw a plant that a lot of people will never see in the wild. And I thank you as uh, always for watching and supporting all of us here at Element Mountain in Vermont. If you want to learn more about uh, the classes, workshops, events, and excursions that we host, go ahead over to elementmountain.com. Check out the site, see what we have going. All right. Until next time, this is White Wolf here at Element Mountain. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, keep an eye on our channel and our website for constant updates, new stuff, exciting stuff. And um, if you want to really get uh, hands on, come on out here to Vermont and uh, we'll all have some fun together. All right, Willem Olsen, be well and happy. <laughs>